today the topic of discussion is primary key in sql so we'll understand what is primary key so primary key and we'll see primary key implementation too so let's start okay sql primary key constraint so what is primary key a table without primary key constraint cannot uniquely identify each record in a table it's very obvious suppose there is a table and there is no primary key so you cannot identify you cannot identify you cannot identify any of the tuple uniquely because if there is no primary key there could be a duplicate values there could be null values and in that case you could not uniquely identify a tuple for example there are four johns in that case the roll number of four john is one in that case if you want a single john then you will not get because by mistake you have kept the roll number of each john as the same value in that case it will be tough suppose john james and anna all has roll number one so if you want the person with roll number one in that case you will get three roll three names uh, corresponding to roll number one that will be a tough similarly uh, as you have seen that mobile number of everybody is unique uh, uh, SSN number of everybody is unique. So these are few values which are keys. But if a table is without primary key, then in that case you cannot uniquely identify because the primary key must be unique because the primary key is unique and cannot contain the null values and primary key cannot have what null values. So prim if primary key cannot have null values, so you cannot do this. Okay. And syntax syntax to create table without primary key and you have already seen in java deep point that we have created a table without primary key so again i am creating a table and i'll show you what is the problem with this table so create table person id int name where cap and salary int so if you see this table having three columns id name and salary and there is no primary key in this table so what this is the uh, resultant table having five values one two three four five of john smith shane ricky tom and their salary are this fine okay so this is just a table now if i show you what is the problem with this table now if i am trying to insert insert into person one values person is the name of table this person is this name of table the table of this the table of the name of this table is person insert into person values one john and twenty thousand so i'm able to I'm able to insert this duplicate value because this value is already in the table and again I'm inserting this value. This is just because of what? There is no primary key. Now say this. I'm inserting into person values null values. I'm inserting null values. That is Smith is a person having salary what? 30,000 and there is no ID. I'm able to. I'm able to insert this value just because there is no primary key so what is that so both insert statement one with duplicate value and one with null value will not produce any error and you are watching this this why this is not producing any error the reason is that the table is not made with primary key what if i want my table to have only unique ids and my id should not be null it's it's does does you don't you think that if you ask somebody what is your roll number or what is your mobile number and you get the answer my mobile number is null it's just stupidity nobody can have mobile number null if you have mobile number then it will be a value it will have some value fine okay let's start so sql primary key with the constraint the primary key constraint uniquely identify each record in a table yes very true the primary key constraint uniquely identify each record in a table the primary key, i already told you that primary key must be unique value that is all the value of primary key must be unique and cannot have null values if, if any id if any column is primary key then it cannot have null values fine a table can have only one primary key very important a table can have only one primary key and in the table this primary key can consist of single or multiple column that is a table can have only one primary key but primary key but primary key can have more than one column suppose this can have id this can have name this can have salary so all of this can be primary key primary key will be one but primary key can have more than one column fine okay so this is what i wanted to tell you okay let's start let's see the syntax syntax to create table with primary key so i am now i'm creating a table uh, create table person id int and if you want to make id as a primary key then just write primary key in front after data type of id so what will happen this id will become primary key then name name is another column and data type is where cap and salary is another column and data type is int the moment you do this you have created a table and suppose there are five values now if you try to insert what 
duplicate value say this insert into person one john twenty thousand since this is already there so what what are you getting not allowed not allowed because what primary key constraint is violated unique key constraint is violated you cannot insert duplicate value now what if you try to insert null values again that will be not allowed because of what because of, because you have created this id as what primary key so what you are getting exactly is that both insert statements this and this one with duplicate value and one with null value will produce a error both will not allow will both will produce a error and then the last one is SQL primary key constraint creating a table with more than one column acting as a primary key what if you want to create more than one table as a primary key can you create that yes you can create that create table persons I'm creating a table person having ID and name as a primary key then what you need to do the syntax is same create table person ID and not null whatever you want don't want ID to be not null you can put not null like that name then where care salad then where can and at last you can you can skip this also this is not required at all okay you, this is not required at all primary key fine and what you are putting in primary key and at last you are putting two columns in primary key so now these both the column are acting as a primary key so what constraint they'll follow they cannot be null they cannot be null they cannot be null and they cannot be duplicate they cannot be duplicate they cannot be duplicate fine so now both can column cannot be null and both column cannot be duplicate so a primary key having more than one column is also known as composite key composite key fine okay so uh, this is this was all the theoretical concept let me show you whatever i have told you right now using so let me discard all these changes and let me show you the oracle so let me drop if a table person is already there drop 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 uh, table table persons p e r s o n s persons oh, see the table is dropped oh okay so let me show you uh, uh, a table and then create table p e r s o n s persons what am i doing is that id is the name of column and the data type is int and i want to create it primary key p r i m a r y primary k e y key so id will now act as a primary key then second was name the data type is where care size is suppose 15 and again the salary and data type of salary is int now i've closed the table so you can see i'm going to create a table name person having three column id name and salary where id is a primary key table is created you want to see the description see the description desc that command is desc table name per s o n s persons c see you can clearly see this id cannot be null now see you can see in front of id what is there id all these two can be null but id cannot be null id cannot because we have created id as a primary key now let let us check this insert into percent values okay one john thirty thousand. fine we, we have inserted now insert into two james uh suppose this is uh, twenty thousand. fine so we have inserted because these two you values are unique that's why we have inserted so let me show you select s e l L A C T select star from star from persons P E R S O N S persons. You can see uh, uh, till now everything is fine because both the, the both the IDs are unique and they are not null. What if I am trying to insert null values or duplicate value? What if I am trying to insert two ID again? Suppose this two ID is of uh, uh, suppose this two ID is of Tom. Will I be able to insert it? No you cannot because unique constraint see the error you are getting unique constraint violated you cannot insert you uh, two again because two is already there and two is a primary key hope you understood and what if i insert what null values so how to insert null values blank columns fine uh, blank uh, single quotes so again what you are getting cannot insert null cannot insert null into this, this means that I have tried my level to explain you much better that what is primary key and what are different constraints. So what are different constraints? There are two constraints in primary key. You cannot have duplicate value. You cannot insert duplicate value and you cannot insert none values. That is primary key cannot have null value and cannot have duplicate value. And this is what I have tried and proved you by running in an Oracle environment and I have showed you everything. At last, I'll only say one thing. What? 